Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with episode numero 13 of the Spurs career mode. We start this one with an international management offer. Now initially when I saw the flag, I thought it was Russia and I was like, I may take that, but it wasn't. It ended up being Slovenia. I uh, didn't notice the little, tiny little extra bit to the flag there. And uh, that kind of, uh, kind of spoiled that really. Because if I can take a management job, an international management job, before the World Cup for 2014... On, uh, on this career mode save then I would like to do uh, I would like to do that and manage through the international tournament because uh, it's something that I've not done yet either on FIFA 13 or FIFA 14 let alone on uh, on YouTube so uh, I would definitely like to do that if I possibly can then we could make some sort of mini series out of it for uh, for the World Cup but of course hopefully by uh, next summer uh, there will be some sort of either whether it's DLC again like it was for Euro 2012 or uh, a standalone title like it was for the World Cup in 2010 there may be uh, an extra FIFA title for uh, for the World Cup in 2014 in Brazil in Rio. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see. But hopefully there will be some something we can do for the World Cup. But hopefully rather than sooner rather than later, maybe we'll get a decent international management offer between now and the uh, the start of the World Cup on the uh, on the career mode save itself. But as you can see, we're pretty dominant in the opening first half to this West Bromwich Albion game. Sandro there changing feet very very nicely indeed. A player that doesn't perhaps score the same amount of goals that he does in real life or perhaps the same amount of goals that you, you may perhaps want to get from him uh, you know you want to you want the midfield to contribute when you've only got one up top with Roberto Soldado and Christian Eriksen's put a lot of the uh, effort in when it comes to goal scoring etc but it would be nice for Sandro to uh, and Paulinho in fact to uh, to score a little bit more than they uh, than they perhaps do but uh, he's put that one away very very nicely indeed and then unfortunately they're uh, they're actually going to pull one back here in the second half I tried to read the ball through and uh, I tried to cut off the angle but he was just able to squeeze it through and uh, Vertonghen can't quite get it though he, though he does put a challenge in and Nico Nelka does pull up so unfortunately he did have to go off a couple of minutes later with that injury so I do apologise Nico for uh, for making you have to leave the field of play but nonetheless we were actually able to roll out 3-1 winners in this one very very convincing game against West Brom and I was delighted to get a convincing win on the board because we've been struggling recently for some decent form if we have won a game then it's uh, it's been kind of a, a slim one where you know it could have gone either way so it was nice to really be on top in the game another game that we were really on top in was this one Defoe with a great chance that is a wonderful save from Azmir Vegovic and uh, we were really really heavily on top in this one against Stoke the conditions weren't very nice at all and I'll be honest I am so bad in the rain on this game FIFA 14 in the rain I just cannot do it whatsoever but Andros Townsend gets through here he's going to set himself up nicely for a whipped effort obviously scored a screamer for England against uh, against Montenegro last week and uh, I'm recording this before Poland so hopefully uh, he will uh, if he does start on Tuesday he will have put in another good performance and we can ensure our qualification for uh, for Rio 2014 but unfortunately Moreno misjudges the flight of the ball there heads the ball back on for uh, Mame Baram Juve to run onto and he punishes us that's 1-0 to Stoke City away from home at White Hart Lane just before we go in for half time that's really not what we needed we'd had a few chances weren't able to take the lead and I was really disappointed to have gone in uh, behind at the break so brought on Gilfie Sigurdsson for Moussa Dembele uh, I'm going to maybe drop Dembele from the starting lineup and uh, start maybe playing uh, either Chadley or Lamella consistently at that left wing at uh, left wing spot but uh, Chadley goes very close there and I just don't understand how Andrus Townsend has managed to somehow scuff that effort and not get it into the back of the net I was really really disappointed with that and again Chadley can't quite get his effort on target disappointing so far in this uh, in this second half and uh, they come very, very close here. I don't know how Palacios doesn't finish this. He goes for the spectacular finish, brings it back off the bar, and we are so, so lucky to get away with that one. But Defoe here, tell me, is this a penalty or not? He has the chance, and he's just got to run onto that. Surely he's been tripped there, and uh, and that should be a penalty to us. I was, I just, oh, I don't understand how we haven't got a penalty there. And, uh, and Defoe again comes close. This time can't quite find the angle and the accuracy to get the shot away. And uh, Be Begovic makes a good save. San no, it's Kapu, in fact, going to hit the bar with a header and then can't get to the follow-up underneath the bar on the line in the very, very closing stages of this one. And then, of course, the goalkeeper is going to hoof it clear. And the final whistle is going to go. And unfortunately, we do take a defeat from the second game in this episode. And it is only two games in this episode. I do apologise for it being a shorter one. But uh, we are actually coming up to the next game is against Manchester United away from home at Old Trafford and it's on January the 1st we're going to head into the January transfer window in the next episode so let me know in the comment section down below who you think I should try and sign I am looking for a winger I am looking for a holding mid if we can move on 
one of the uh, one of the attacking mids that we've got, whether it's Gilfie or Lewis Holtby, preferably. And I want to move on Aaron Lennon as well to replace him. So uh, we don't have enough money to bring someone in without moving someone else on, but I will need some uh, some options perhaps for a few guys to suggest for me to look into when it comes to uh, bringing players in should we have the money available. I am very, very interested in bringing in Freddy Guarin from Inter Milan if that is possible because he is absolutely superb on this game. But that is going to bring this particular episode to a close. So please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. Again, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. There will be a link to do so in the comment, se in the comment section, in the description down below. And of course, an annotation on screen over the button on the end slate. And again, annotation on screen over the play button on the end slate if you did miss the previous episode and uh, that is going to be all from this one so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time